Hello everybody, this is the Doctor. Welcome back to more Let's Play Star Trek Online. This is just a preview, everybody. A very quick preview of what you can expect in the future. I am working on, as you can see, an Nikor Undine ship. This is a cruise... This is not a cruiser, this is an escort, excuse me. And, um... I just wanted to give you all a quick preview of things to come. So enjoy my battle zone session, which has already begun. It is very, very intense. You can't even see my weapons firing. That's how intense it is. That seems to be happening a lot lately. Like you can't actually see my weapons. Graphics disappear. So yes, this is a Nikkor Escort. I've got it fully loaded with cannons right now. I am working on the build. It is nowhere near finished. Nowhere near. It's very rudimentary. So it's a work in progress. Oh crap, I'm all over the place. It's a work in progress. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick preview. A quick preview of what will be coming in the future once I get this thing finished. I've got it running uh, cannons. Uh, and I'm working on the counter command reputation gear. All of it. To go on this ship. And I just thought I would give you all lovely people a preview of what's to come. So you can see, I have some of the counter command gear on right now, but not all of it. There is much more to come. Here's a quickly, you can see cannons. There's some of the counter command stuff. Uh, it's not finished, but it's still awesome, even though it's not finished. And you can't even see the weapons firing. I keep having this glitch. Where the graphics aren't showing up from my ship. I'm going to be switching video cards uh, soon, so maybe that will fix my problem. But right now. Right now, some of my graphics are.
can't even see it, but I just did a volley of torpedo spread. So yeah, I just thought I would give you all a preview of this uh, Escort. It's it's incredible. It's just absolutely incredible. Um, I've got the Counter Command Deflector Array and the Counter Command Hyper Impulse. I still need the Counter Command Shield. I am using the Enhanced Biomolecular Photon Torpedo from the Counter Command Reputation. Um, this torpedo is really good for the Undine. Really good against the Undine. Um, I know I said before in another video, you know, I asked the question, how good is that torpedo really? Well, against the Undine, it's really good. There goes my spread right there. And also, I've actually found it to be good against the Boar. So I actually believe that it is a good torpedo. Not a bad torpedo. I can take a pretty good beating, too. The planet killers have been revealed. Make your way to their location. The planet killers are now active. We have ten minutes to destroy as many as possible. Yeah, this has been uh, this this ship has been a lot of fun. I've, I'm having a lot of fun uh, with the build. I'm not finished with the build by any means. Got a long ways to go. Then I'll make a final video for you guys. I'm I am using uh, fluidic anti-proton uh, dual heavy cannons, and I love them. Uh, I just don't have the best ones yet. The highest uh, level heavies. But as you can see, as an escort, it can take a beating. I actually like that. All right, here's what I was talking about with this power. Watch this. Bam. Ships come together, and they fire. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they do. That's what they do.
firing even though you can't see the weapons. I swear I'll get that issue fixed soon. I don't know what causes that. Some others seem to have that problem as well, where their uh, effects graphics aren't sh don't show up on their ship. It seems to happen a lot when you have a lot of NPCs at once on the screen, like a whole lot of the enemy or uh, friendlies or whatever, and a whole lot of effects going on. Seems your effects, your graphics glitch out, and you can't actually see your weapons firing on your ship, or from your ship. So it seems to be a common problem. Maybe one day Cryptic will find a fix for it, but uh, for me, I'm going to switch video cards to a whole different brand I'm going with, a whole different thing here in the future. Um, it's going to be probably a little bit better. And um, may, may actually may fix the problem, it may not, but I can give it a shot. So yeah, I'm all ships ship. return to the staging area. My we ultimate, must prepare for the Voth. My ultimate goal is to keep with the Voth, uh, Voth, excuse me, the um, fluidic uh, anti-protons to keep with the whole Undine theme. Excuse me on the ship. Uh, so I do want to keep the um, Undine flu uh, anti-protons, but I do want to get the Mark 12 very rares <clears throat> with uh, some good modifiers. So I don't have the uh, resources for that yet, but when I do, I'll get that. I'm going to put uh, turrets on the back, of course. Right now I've got beams. They're just placeholders uh, pretty much. I have one turret, but I got beams on Destroy the back. Destroy all the primates. It's this just a, fear will belong to us. It's just a placeholder right now until I get um, better weapons. Warning. Ship is under attack. But the real goal of this ship is that I... Uh, on all of the counter command here on the show. To show off the back. So uh, that's what I'm working on right now on the, on the reputation. You can see I have uh, tier 3, but I'm almost tier 4. I'll be tier 4 tomorrow. In 19 hours, I'll be tier 4. But then I get some more gear, and then I gotta work on tier 5. So I am getting close, but uh, not there yet, so that's why I haven't done a, a final video of this ship just yet. But uh, that's what I'm working on, so that uh, you guys can see. I think I'll uh, splice in uh, the other ships I'm working on too, just to give you a preview. So that you guys know I'm not just sitting on my rump doing nothing. <laughs> I am working on these ships, there are lots of ships that I want to show you guys. It just takes a lot of time to build them. Especially when you don't have the gear that you want. As an escort, this thing can take quite a punch, and I'm, I'm really impressed by that. I'm not even using that good of a shield. I'm only using right now the um, Omega Force shield, which does not have an extremely high shield capacity. 
and uh, it has no ability to uh, protect me against anything that an enemy has. But um, it's still, this ship is still, it can take a beating. I know, guys, it doesn't look like my weapons are firing much. Believe me, they are firing, you just can't see them. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. It really bugs me, too. All integrity below 75%. Okay, we'll be getting the uh, Voth Citadel ship here any second. It'll be on the next wave. It always comes right around this time marker. And I'll show you once again the um, fluidic beam once the uh, ship pops here. Warning, ship is under attack. No, don't do that to me. And there it is. But get there in time. Wondering what that ability is, I've got a neat little uh, console as well from the person who uh, gave me the ship. It is a uh, fluidic phase jump console, and there you go. There's the stats on it. You can see for yourself what it does. It is an invisible plus a speed increase and a shock wave on expire that does plasma damage. That's right. I love that. It's a little console, it's a little extra just to put on this ship, and I guess it'll go on any ship, but uh, I put it on this ship because it just feels right <laughs> being on the ship. Warning. What I'm finding that this uh, torpedo does, that I'm using this, uh, I keep forgetting the name of it, biomolecular photon torpedo, uh, once it hits an enemy, it seems to make them look like there's a lot of damage to their skin, their hull, and um, it, it's really cool. It's got, a, it's got a great high yield ability, it's got a great spread ability. Uh, I have to say, I, I was very dubious about the torpedo at first, but... Um, it works good. I found that it's, uh, it works good against the Vaughn. It works good against the uh, Boar. And naturally, the Undy is what it's made for. And it works good against uh, everything I've tried it on so far. So it's a good torpedo. It's a good torpedo. Definitely, uh, definitely. The Voth are retreating. So, um, so there you go. Uh, a few, I got a few of, the, actually I got four. Four of the counter command things. Got the torpedo, the deflector, the impulse, and then down here I do have the universal hydrodynamics compensator as well. Um, I am missing, of course, the shield. 
I don't know if there's a warp core. If there is, I'll get it. If there's any other gear in the counter command rep, I'll be sure to get it. The whole idea of this ship is that I'm, I'm, I want everything from the counter command rep to show off this Undine escort in the best of its abilities of taking out the Undine. <laughs> I guess that's, that's the theme. And that's what I want to show you guys. And this will be my first use of all of the counter command gear. So I'm very excited to uh, get to tier 5 on this character and then get all that stuff. But it is going to take a while. It takes time to level up in these uh, levels, even though I've got a uh, sponsorship thing going. So I am getting double the, uh, the counter command reputation for each one. It still takes a lot of time to get there and then get enough undine marks to buy the gear and the dilithium, yada, yada, yada. So eventually I'll get there. But that's the goal. And uh, and that's my ship right now as it is. I know it is a terrible build at this point in time. It is not finished. It is not ready for consumption. But it will be, and when it when I when it is, it'll be awesome. I also want to get off, of course, the fleet tactical consoles. Here's that console of the uh, fluidic phase decoupler. Um. So yeah, yeah, really terrible right now. Don't don't even pay attention to that window. Um, so that's one preview. Let me show you guys another preview uh, of a ship. Yes, this is coming. In fact, I believe this will be coming this weekend because I need to make the videos for it. Uh, but I believe I have it pretty much ready. Let's just go straight to space. Yeah, that, uh, that Undine ship. That Nikkor, I can turn it on a dime. I mean, that thing is incredible as an escort. Yes, my friends, it is the Voth Bulwark. As you can see, here it is. Oh, it is huge. And oh, it is pretty. Actually, kind of, sort of, maybe. And um, yes, it's got a hangar bay. Hangar bay, hangar bay. And... I am using, what am I using? I'm using the, the Hangar Voth Elite Heavy Fighters. That's right, I got the fleet version of the Voth Heavy Fighters. Oh yeah. And, in addition, I have the complete Voth set on here. I've got the Universal Ward Repair Ship. I've got the Aceton Field Generator from the uh, Cruiser. Uh, no, from, yeah, no, wait, yeah, what? No, that's, that's from the size ship, right? And then the reflective shield amplifier from the cruiser, that's right. I keep forget, I forget which one these come from. The Aceton, yes, that's from the size, the science, the Voth science ship, and then the reflective shield amplifier is from the cruiser. Anyways, I have all three on this ship. Oh yes, I do. Voth Bulwark, coming soon. Dun, dun, dun next just to change the pace a little because I've never done this ship however it's been in this game for a very long time and it was one of the first uh, sea store ships that I got because it was one of the first sea store ships that ever came out in the game and it was very exciting when it came out and I am a science character and this was a science ship in fact it's a science cruiser it is no less than the Vulcan Psy Cruiser. There you go. Vulcan Science Cruiser. Finally, I decided, you know what? Let's revisit this ship. Because I used to use it a long time ago, but I never used it since then. And it just kind of sat there, being unutilized. And I figured, well, let's give it a shot. My characters have evolved a whole lot over time. I've got a lot more gear now. So let's try this thing out. It does this little neat thing here where it's got a support craft that follows you and does stuff to you as you're flying in space. And um, this is my working build. I guess I kind of went with like the Iconian, not the Iconian, why did I say that? Like the Tholian uh, ship. I kind of, the Orp Weaver, I kind of went with the Nukara theme on this, oddly, for some reason. But I got the whole new Kara set on here um, with Tetrions because I'm a science character and I'm going to use the Tetrions and I'll explain all that later. 
Uh, but that's kind of the theme I'm going on this ship. And you know what? It's all right. I need to play with it a little bit more, figure it out, see if that's where I want to leave it. Um, but that is a ship I will be showing you in the future. So there you go, everybody. That is three ships all lined up to show you. I was just very excited about the uh, the uh, Undine ship because this is uh, this is just really really nice. This is so far this is one of my most favorite escorts right here. I mean, this is just a really, really nice ship. I can turn so fast. I, I mean, of course, it's an escort. It should be able to turn fast, but it does. And it's just awesome. So here's that uh, invisible plus speed thing. I can go really fast. And it makes me invisible. And then it releases this burst of uh, radiation damage. Bam. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I just thought y'all would... Uh, like a little preview of what I've got coming up uh, and just uh, know that this one's going to take a little bit more time because it's far from being done. I want it to be perfect. I want it to be perfect. I know it won't be, but I want to get it as close to perfect as I can before I uh, ultimately get it. I also really want the gear that kills all these little bubbles. It's insane, these bubbles. Bubbles are crazy. Crazy bubbles. hundreds of Undine marks every day. That has is, that is really been helping me um, get all the counter command gear because, you know, each piece is like 750 Undine marks. Some of the pieces are 500 Undine marks, but some of them are 750 each. So it takes a lot of Undine marks to get all of the gear. I mean, a lot. So doing these battle zones helps because you get a lot of boxes you get a lot of boxes a lot of these are 10 boxes but all you got to do is do one of these zones or one of these sectors each one of these sectors is 10 undine marks and then you get more for doing the entire thing if you do the whole thing but i also have a reputation bonus going on so i actually get 10 marks for each uh, i mean 12 marks for each sector i do plus uh the bonus uh box that you get plus um more for actually finishing the entire run. So I actually end up getting hundreds a day. So that's really been helping me get a deep marks. Anyway, I recommend this battle zone. It's very fun. I'm really having a lot of fun. You know what? It makes me want it makes me think Cryptic needs a Borg battle zone like this. You know, why not? I mean I know we have the Borg STFs and all, which is great. I like them. Why not give us a Borg battle zone like this where we can go into Borg space, you have the different sectors you have to take over. You do that, you win the whole thing, blah, blah, blah. Just like this battle zone, but with Borg. Can you imagine that? Wouldn't that be fun? And then do it for, make it all of them, you know? Do it do it for all the reputation. Let's see, you've got Borg. You could do uh, you could do that with the Borg. You could do um, Tholians. You could do a whole Tholian battle zone. You could do a, uh, a Romulan battle zone or something. Um, of course, you already got the Dyson and the Counter Command. I mean, 
I'm just saying. There's room there for it, Cryptic. Okay, well, that's just a preview video. Hope you all enjoyed that little look into the future. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.